What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another fun one, an informative one for you. We're coming to you from Riggs Hill. Who's Riggs and why does he have a hill named after him? We're actually here because a subscriber and a member of our Facebook group, Go Grand Junction, we'll talk more about that in a little bit, is a dinosaur freak. So we're going to go through that and tell you why we're here at Riggs Hill. We're going to do it right after this, so stay tuned. What is going on everyone? I'm Robert Hayes along with my wife Christy who's at home with a dang sinus infection today. We are the Hayes Home Group right here in Grand Junction, Colorado. Hey, if this is your very first time to this channel, thanks so much for popping in. You probably found this channel because you're doing some research on Grand Junction as well. So if you want to know everything about what it's like to work, live, play, eat, sleep here in Grand Junction, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap the bell. That way you're notified every single time we do a new video. We do at least one a week sometimes twice a week and also if you're looking to move out here make sure you reach out and give us a phone call shoot us a text send us an email Christy and I are the ones that answer those phone calls we answer those texts we answer those emails days nights weekends 24 7 we've got your back when moving to Grand Junction all right so like I said we're up here on Riggs Hill who the heck is Riggs well it's Elmer Riggs and he actually in the early 1900s uncovered one of the largest brachiosaurus fossils really about a mile from our house actually so this whole area is just a treasure trove of dinosaur fossils they had some out there in fruta same dude elmer riggs found a, a postasaurus fossil out there in fruta so just a cool little hiking trail it's about three quarters of a mile uh, head on up to the top there it really isn't that difficult but uh, we wanted to kind of go over a few things that you need to know really not a neighborhood's guide per se but things that you need to be thinking about as it pertains to certain areas of grand junction or I should say things that you need to be asking yourself. It's the same thing that when you reach out and email and text us, we actually go over all of these things. So we thought we'd do a video about it. So ahead of time, you can kind of get an idea of, of what we're gonna be asking and that you need to be thinking about. So this really isn't so much of a neighborhood's guide, but things you need to be asking yourself. So when it comes to uh, what area of town you want to reside in in Grand Junction, the anchor, the one thing that has to be the backbone for you is what is most important to you and your family. Is it the proximity to a certain school district? Is the most important thing being close to the hiking trails on the Colorado National Monument? Is the most important thing having maybe a, a neighborhood setting that has some space in between you and, and, and your neighborhood? neighbor next door. So those are the things that you really need to be asking instead of, look, I get it, looking on uh, online at photos of homes, it's super fun. But if you have the perfect home in the worst possible area that doesn't fit exactly what is most important to you, then, you know, six months down the road, you're going to have what we call buyer's remorse and you're going to hate the home because the home might be great, but the area is in the complete wrong area. So the number one thing that you want to ask yourself what is the most important thing to you again is it is it a lifestyle is it an area is it proximity to shopping uh, all those sorts of things that's number one for sure
Okay, the second thing that you want to be asking yourself or thinking about is what's your budget? That actually ties into maybe an area of town that you might be eliminated from. That might be, you might be hard pressed to be eliminated from anything here in Grand Junction. But if your budget is, let's say 275, I mean, a single family here in the Redlands is probably going to be out. I'm just going to be honest with you. Now, a townhome or condo all day long here in the Redlands area, you can find those. But a single family, you know, a three two or a four two 1700 square feet um, in the redlands area of town the southwest part of town with those gorgeous monument views you know 275 isn't going to get it done so have you gone over those numbers with your significant other uh, you know, your wife your spouse your girlfriend boyfriend um, and have you gotten in touch with our preferred lender partner here our team member alan coombs top one percent in the nation uh, here at fidelity mortgage now we don't get a dime from alan sending uh, our clients to him to get pre approved it's just we trust Alan to get things done and closed on time which is super important we want things to run as efficiently as possible so uh, have you gotten in touch with Alan have you gotten in touch with uh, a pre-approval had him run a pre-approval I should say so you know exactly where you're at and provided him those documents that are really gonna you know hone in on that number that price point that budget and then again once we know that that'll maybe put you into a certain area based on number one which is what's the most important to you so uh, make sure you know what your what your uh, your overall budget is Okay, so the third thing that you need to be asking yourself is where are you actually going to go? And what I mean by that is if you are thinking about getting into mountain biking and you've seen our Fruita videos off to the west where all the world-class mountain biking trails are and you're like, Robert, we want to go to Fruita. We want to be close to the mountain biking trails so that uh, we can really get our, uh, you know, our, our exercise on. And then six months down the road, that mountain bike is still leaning up against the wall in the garage and it's collecting dust so are you really going to be an avid mountain biker and is living in fruta going to be something that you might look back on and say well i decided i don't want to be a mountain biker and now i'm stuck out in fruta with 10,000 people and one you know kind of smaller uh you know grocery store and i really don't want to be here anymore so think where are you actually going to go so think about that too when you're thinking about an area of town here in grand junction hey i just wanted to pause here real quick and remind you of our private Facebook group. It's called Go Grand Junction and it's a great venue to go in and check out what's going on in Grand Junction, some of the events that are coming up and ask questions, get tips, ideas, all that sort of fun stuff from clients that we've helped move here and clients that we're uh, helping to th that are thinking about moving here that we're helping to move out here. So again, it's called Go Grand Junction. We try to get in there and prove those requests just as quickly as we can. Okay, the fourth thing that you want to be asking yourself, and this actually just came up yesterday, we were showing some clients around town, where is the value? Put your business head on for a second. I mean, we absolutely want to accomplish and crush your dream of getting into the home that's going to be perfect for you. But down the road, they say the national average of staying in a property is about seven years. You know, some are 30 years, some are two years, but the average is about seven years. So the area of town, the most important, all those things, and then on top of that, where is the value? Is it going to be in a location of town that's not going to be close to, you know, railroad tracks or a main road that we had yesterday house was perfect for our clients but it was right on the main road so the appreciation level of that home versus the one that we found them which was actually a better home to be quite frank it was in a completely different and better area which is going to appreciate even more over time so we want to put our business hats on as well and think about that appreciation over time which last year was about 20 percent appreciation i doubt we're we're going to have that this year year over year was about again over 20 percent maybe 24 percent they're saying about 10 to 15 percent this year so instead of super hot it's just a hot market uh, but still we want to put that business head on and think of budget where are you going to go what's most important 
and what's going to be the best value for you and your family. All right, the fifth thing that you want to be thinking about before you move out here to Grand Junction is it's going to be cold for three months. I'm just going to tell you it's going to be from about December 15th. Uh, it actually depends, but I mean, we haven't even had snow sometimes until Christmas, which as we've talked on this channel, it's super limited, 15 inches a year. But, uh, you know, December, we've seen days that are still in the 50s and 60s, bright blue sunny skies, but there's days when, you know, it's going to be 21. So December, January, and February are uh, traditionally the coldest months here in Grand Junction, Colorado. So just be prepared. Be, be prepared if I can talk. I say it. Say it. For the seasons, we're going to have fall coming up here in a couple of weeks, and that's going to be absolutely gorgeous. But, you know, again, December, January, February, it's going to be cold, so just prepare for it. You do not need a four-wheel drive out here in Grand Junction. Now, if you're going over the, the Rockies in the winter after a storm, you absolutely are going to need a four-wheel drive if you're even going to try that, which I wouldn't recommend. But no, two-wheel drive is fine, again, with the limited snowfall, but be prepared for the seasons here in Grand Junction. All right, so five things that you just want to be asking yourself before you head out here to Grand Junction and before we get on that phone call with you and talk about some of those things that are the most important to you guys. Um, we're also going to go through, we're going to talk about your Ford, no not your Chevy, your Ford, your family, your occupation, recreation and dreams, all those sorts of things. Uh, but the most important thing, as much as we love doing these videos, we would love nothing more than to help you guys find your dream home here in Grand Junction. So again, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe tap the bell so you're notified every single time we post a new video and if you are thinking about moving out here that number popping up below Christy and I are the ones that answer those emails we answer those texts we answer those phone calls personally so make sure you do that or send a carrier pigeon totally up to you we've got your back when moving to Grand Junction until the next video we'll catch you later